Hello everyone, Warangel here, and welcome back to the Talakwa campaign. Now at the moment, we're still halfway through the ritual of contemplation, although we've managed to defeat most of the chaos forces that have come our way, with two exceptions, one of which we're going to be dealing with right at the beginning of this episode. We've also had a bit of an issue with Tor Lazor here, that since we took their capital, they've decided to bring their army around to Dawn's Light, where they've managed to conquer for themselves, and as you can see at the moment, they look like they're heading towards your tech, which is a problem because that is one of my ritual sites. So we do have two armies coming down to join us. We've got uh, Takao, is it? Yeah, Takao, yeah. Our Slime Age Priest, a character that we haven't actually used that much yet, but I'm looking forward to using him. And, even more exciting, we've got Exoto, the legendary Chameleon Skink himself. The one that hides. He's very, very good as a ranged uh, lord and part of Mixu's legendary lord mods. So I'm looking forward to checking him out. Not only that, but we actually got this entire army here for 20 turns, or slightly less than that now, for free. Now, once that time limit goes, we're going to have to start paying for this. So we are going to have to keep on track of how much this is going to cost us. Because that's going to really boost uh, down, well, we hit our income if we have to pay for this other army. But for now, we're going to take advantage of him. So we're going to got the two armies at the moment heading down here to your, your attack. So we'll send them on their journey. Takao's going to get there in the next turn. And Exato's going to get there the turn after. So we'll be able to at least defeat this army led by a man. And this is actually a pretty decent army. They've got Swordmasters, they've got Phoenix Guard, they've got Phoenixes, Sisters of Avalon, and all sorts of weird and marvelous stuff. Very, very unique army. Now, Takao is done, Exato's done, Tic-Tac-Toe is currently under siege by one of the Chaos armies. And that's a pretty decent army that we've got in front of us. They've got loads of Chaos Warriors, they've got Forsaken, they've got loads of Knights, loads and loads of Knights, in fact. Now what I'm trying to do is let them actually attack me by attacking the settlement, because then we've got the garrison here to help us. But if they don't do that, we're going to have to be prepared in... How many turns we got? Four turns left, and then we're going to have to fight it. So we'll see if they'll attack me in the meantime, but so we can at least use the walls to our advantage. Now Krokgar... You're going to eliminate this army here, the Warband of the Serpent. Now, remember last time we managed to defeat their army pretty easily, thanks to the fact that their Mammoth here, which I was really concerned about, didn't actually get involved in the fight at all. And we were able to defend ourselves against the rest of their units as they tried to climb the walls and get through the gates. But the, defend the survivors have come to attack us, but that's not going to be enough to deal with Quokgar himself. There we go. Gone. Alright, replenishment. Let's go for the extra income, I think. An extra thousand gold, I'm not going to complain about. So we've now got 1,100 to 11,000 even. I can't do math today either. It's a problem with a Saturday. I woke up. You know when you wake up in the mornings and you just feel completely drained, even though you just, you've just you had a good night's sleep? That was me today. And, yeah, I'm feeling it a little bit. So if I'm a little bit wacky in this Let's Play video and for Wimworld, if you guys are watching it later, then this, my apologies. This is going to be one of those things that happens today. But anyway, back to this. Krokgar, we've now defeated that army at the Temple of Skulls. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them down to attack the Tower of the Stars. And then them, along with Pladjol here, should be able to team up to take out the Tower of the Sun. Now, I'm not going to be too bothered to go all the way to the Fortress of Dawn. I'll let the Citadel of Dusk deal with that. But for now, you can make your way down here. It's going to take a couple of turns, but we can easily take the settlement. And then between the two armies, we should be able to take them out. Assuming they stick around, they may come to attack us once that other army gets up to full strength. They may even go off in a different direction. We'll have to see. Uh, Temple Avenue of Gold. We need to give you gold. And let's give you some walls to, to defend th that gold deposit. Otherwise, what else do we want to spend our money on? Now, I did get a bit of a mix-up in the last episode, and it was thanks to Drake and Mateen for pointing out. I have an issue that because I've got two campaigns happening very much in the same neck of the woods, so to speak, they're all taking place in this area of the map. The only difference is, of course, 
Now uh, this one's much more detailed because it's only focusing on the lower part, the new world and not the old world. So when I get some advice, sometimes I just get them mixed up. So I don't actually need to worry too much about building lots and lots of defenses along the coast here. But it's still a, a good idea to try and do just to make sure our settlements are quite defended against enemy attacks in the future. So, but it's not something we need to necessarily rush to try and, and deal with, you know? But yeah, definitely gonna have an energy dome here at the very least. What about the rest of our places? Anywhere else no need to upgrade? Probably a few places actually, I've just been s skipping past them. Cursed Jungle, let's give us some more Lotus Gathering. We'll upgrade this as well, and let's just go for that too. There we go. Anywhere else? We'll upgrade you too, I guess. Let's do our research quick. So now that we've finished the interpreting the odd one's meaning, we can actually get these ones, and then we can move on to over here as well, which is going to be very, very useful. So what do we want? Plus 10% weapon strength and 5 for cold one units. Minus upkeep for source warriors, always handy to have. Skinks. Income from trade. Untainted growth. Still need to work on these at some point too, don't we? Extra plus two. That would be quite useful, especially given Tic Tac Toe's sort of, you know, Lord abilities. Hmm. Got a, quite a few ones to work on, don't we? For the moment though, let's go for the sequence of source Invigoration. Of the myriad jungle plants, some are poisonous while others stimulate and rejuvenate the saurus. So in other words, they're making themselves coffee and they're making their, means their upkeep is reduced. I'll take that, certainly. And finally, Quokgar. Now I believe this has been bothering one or two people that I haven't given him a blessing yet. So let's give him one of these. What are we going to give you? Well... Could sell, as we know already, will give me minus 20% upkeep for source infantry, temple guard, and extra armor. Which, given the fact that he does have minus 50% already, could really make units cheap. But because he's already got those cheap units, I feel a little tempted to see what else we can get. Like, that's not too fussed about. Tipok, having that extra speed and magic resistance could come in handy. Little Lord's Army. Handy for the animals. You know what? I think I'm going to go for Tipok. Having a, just my troops being able to move a little bit faster and have some magic resistance is going to be quite handy. So I'm going to give you that. And because we've been facing chaos, we're going to go for neutralize. Is there one just for Perjangling? Okay, there isn't. That counts for Norska, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, wow. Not only does that increase his fighting ability for his army when he, they're fighting, but it gives extra leadership to all my armies when we're facing against Chaos and Norska. Does it apply to all of them? It does. Wow, that's going to be quite useful. Huh. Well, gonna get neutralized Chaos. Once before the ancient enemy unmade the great plan, it shall not be permitted to do so again. There we go. I think that's everything. Let's end the turn. Ooh. I'm actually looking really, really looking forward to actually using Exotl when it comes to fighting in combat. I think he, I was actually planning, I don't know if I mentioned about it in the last episode of this, but I was actually going to use him as my legendary lord for a let's play series because when the Kronosis faction and locker plus was available it's still being updated and it's going to take a while but i'm really looking forward to it because of this reason that thanks to the faction and locker you can play as nearly any faction and the unlocker actually gives you certain factions little like sort of um traits that are unique to them so for example you can play as the Greybeard prospectors hang on let's skip through all this Oh good, you blocked my army. Right, of awakening. it? Yeah. So you could play as the Greybeard Prospectors, for example, and because of their isolation, they actually have very limited uh, tech. They can't do anything like organ guns and, you know, flame cannons and stuff like that. But the only way you can get that is by trading with one of the northern ones. You know, the ones that actually are well known up like Karazakarak and Barakvar and that. 
So until you do that, you can't get access to any sort of major artillery apart from bolt throwers and grudge bit throwers. So things like that I thought was really, really nice. But Exotor actually had a unique starting position, and if you played as him, you started off at Albion in the Mortal Empires campaign. So you can actually do campaigns against, um, for example, what was it, uh, like Norska and stuff like that, which I thought was quite cool. And I don't know if that's been changed into making him just more of a hero that spouts up like it's an event, like what we've had. But that would have been extremely cool. I would have liked to have experienced that campaign with him as our leader. But for now, we'll have you continue on our way. Yeah. Takao, we're going to put you inside your tech for the moment, just to defend the settlement in case they get any funny ideas. Looks like they're trying to replenish right now. Unwise. Not that they're really going to be able to do a lot of it, but there's still quite a tough army. Might as well just wait another turn and let Exotel get involved as well. We'll see. Takao, tic-tac-toe, we've got three more turns of supplies left. Kokgar, you can continue making your way down into here. Right, what's this by the way? Sea Corps. We can always take that in order to try and get more money in a, bit, in a few turns. Pajo... Hang on. Huh. Do we want to try and attack this army? Oh, it's such a shame that we're not doing... Like, they don't have actual naval warfare. Because they got loads and loads of cavalry, which don't get me wrong, is quite annoying to deal with. But if we were facing them on ships, we obviously wouldn't have to worry about their horsemen. We'd just have to deal with the fact that they're shooting arrows at us, and there's only 60 units in the regiment compared to a more typical one of like 100, 120. Tempted, but I think we'll leave it for now. I don't mind if they go off to the Citadel of Dusk. Once we show them, like, look... You might as well just leave us alone at this point. I'm sure they'll be willing to negotiate peace with us. Some point, anyway. Uh, let's give you Blade Shield. Let's give you Scar Veteran. Increase your art health a bit more, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Exoto. Alright, let's upgrade this. Just get that bit more extra cash coming in. But yeah, going back to our Sinbag Sato and the Faction Unlocker, I mean, that was one of the reasons why I actually wanted to do New Mass. And why the options when I was letting you guys pick which campaign we were going to do was basically focused on playing non-vanilla factions. Just because I thought it was a quite a different change of pace, you know, having these different leaders, having even different starting positions, just adds some variety to otherwise a vanilla game. Like, I remember talking, I think, before about how Sudenberg allows you to do a Imperial start, which doesn't involve you having to basically fight the Empire all the time. Instead, you can start off down south, facing the undead and things like that. And... Siege vehicles are only available when attacking walled... We have walled settlements here, though, don't we? Okay, well, let me just check the terrain first. Let's see what we're working with. Maybe they just decided enough's enough and they're going to try and destroy my walls with the ta Yeah, looks like it. Well, let's do this. It's what we were waiting for and it's what we're going to take advantage of. Now, admittedly, we don't have as many source warriors as I perhaps would like. But we do have an ace in the hole in the forms of Lord Croak. Having him with the uh, intervention, uh, what, oh, what was it, the intervention of Itza? No, Devastation? I can't remember what the bloody spell is. Oh, you, at this point, you guys know that I'm just terrible when it comes to remembering names. So, we're just going to accept that and move on. But, something that could be quite useful for us is their army composes of nothing but melee characters. The only fighting, shooting units they've got are the Mortal Horsemen here and the Hell Cannon. And of course their sh sorcerers, sorcerer that's leading the army. Now, we've got so many flying units that we can easily go after their ranged units, eliminate them, and we can just force them then to have to try and climb the walls and uh, tie themselves out so we can take them on in combat ourselves. 
And I think that will be a very, very good plan. We'll just push forward, deal with their ranged units, let their other units try to fight us. If they try to knock down the gate, that's fine. We do have units that are capable of holding it. In particular, with, for example, the these guys. And, of course, as I said, our ace in the hole is Lord Croak himself. Kips of tea, I don't know if you're going to be that useful. But Tic-Tac-Toe could be handy to take out their lead, especially with his ability to sh really whiz around at speed. We'll manage. We'll manage. Despite what the balance bar says. And of course we do have the garrison as well. So we're going to manage just fine I think. Oh, it's quite nice being in this sort of map. <laughs> right. Okay, they do have some siege towers. I wasn't expecting it because it did say, oh well, you know, there was no towers. But then maybe it was applying to me. Okay, we've got a bit of magic. Let's do this. Right. Source Warriors. Skirmishers. Source Warriors. Skirmishers, I'm going to switch over to this side. We'll put you guys by here. And uh, you guys can come up on the walls too. There we go. Right. What else do we have? Coxicores. You're definitely going to stand behind the gates. Source Warriors. Let's stick you up on the wall here to help... Skohorts. Javelins! Javelins! <laughs> right, you guys can come over here too. Alright, let's pop you more this way so at least we have all the towers available. You might as well, you can come here I guess. Bless Source Warriors. We only have the one, yeah, we only have that one gate to worry about. So if I grab the two Croc score units and just have them deployed here. We'll have the Bless Source Warriors here to help out too. Do we have any spearmen? We do have one. You guys are going to form up here. There we go. If we lose this, I am going to be shocked. Absolutely in shock because of that. I really will be. Right, I think that's everyone. Red Crested Skinks, let's put some of you up on the walls as well just to really help our force out a bit. We've got so much infantry that we can put them everywhere basically. Right. Yeah, we can just stick them in little units like there. <laughs> just so much more units. We're not going to lose this at all. Okay, Whippodactyls. Oh, we can't deploy them outside. That's a shame. Alright, well, we'll grab you guys. And you. And we'll take Tic Tac Toe himself. There we go. Got a Scar Veteran on the walls. Let's do this. Alright. They're bringing in their troops. Let's bring it, come over here and attack their Hell Cannon. Alright, Tic Tac Toe, you're going to go after their Chaos Lords. Uh, they are going to be able to do some damage, but all in all, I'm not that fussed. The Surfing's down a minute. Oh, you're going after us with your magic. Okay. Where are Ancient Salamander? We're definitely going to put you to over here ready to attack the enemy. And likewise, Salamander Hunting Pack will put you guys over here too. All right. Oh, they got Battling Rams. Didn't realize that. Mortar Horsemen, come over here and take these guys out. Okay. Let's have you increase okay, speed. Drop Seer to Puck. Upgraded version. Okay, that's fine. Let's have you guys just come in here. Right. Okay, let's see if we can finish them off. Okay, we're dealing with them. They're, come, they're bringing in the towers. They've got defenders coming back. Which is mainly their knights, but nothing for us to worry about. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tic-Tac-Toe, get out of there. Get out of there. Jesus Christ, I had no idea that he was going to take that much damage so quickly. I right, finish off them. Tic Tac Toe, get you out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize. Okay, you guys come down here, try and support him. You need to get out of there fast. Come on. No, I mean get out of there fast. Don't run away like that. Oh, okay. Slow down a minute. Let's deal with the forces now on the walls. 
All right, we've got units coming in that way and that way. Let's have you guys come over here and help. All right, what's going on over this way? Towers on the wall. Okay, you guys come over here and deal with these. These were my cohort with javelins, weren't they? Yeah, Source Warriors Forsaken, we should be okay here. Lord Croak, if you can come forward a bit and just get ready to help out. Can we cast this on the walls? I think we can. Which is obviously you need to get a little bit closer. Okay, Tic-Tac-Toe, get your butt out of there. Yeah, that's fine. Run, get out of there if you need to, but Jesus Christ. Alright, let's have a quick look. Did you guys not get involved in the fights? I thought you would have done. Okay, you guys come over here and attack them. You guys... Okay, you guys have started to run. Okay, come over here. Deal with the Chaos Knights here. Before he gets broken and injured. Come on, finish him off. Okay, they're getting injured. Let's pull them back. Let's pull them both back. If we lose Tic-Tac-Toe, that's just one of those things. Okay, how are we doing? The unit's been defeated. Let's bring you guys over here now to deal with these. Okay, Lord Croak. Can you cast your spell up on this unit Forsaken? You can, apparently. Huh. Okay. They broke down the gates. We're going to introduce them to our team. Say hello. Yeah, Gravity was going to be wounded. Just one of those things. Right. Okay, Lord Croak. No, that's Kipsity. Let's have you cast another spell here. And then we're going to cast a nice big, bigger version of it right here. Okay, you guys get out of there, please. Okay, you guys come forward and finish off these guys. Alright, how are we doing up on the walls? Units are doing badly. Okay, let's do something about that. Nice upgraded version. We're going to go for that too. Start getting our magic back. Okay. Whippodactyl Riders, see if you can come over here and deal with these. Red Crested Skinks, come over here and deal with them. Source Warriors, you need to finish these off. Alright. Okay, we're defeating these easily enough. You guys need to get over here and help out. You guys come up here and help out too. Scar Veteran. You might as well come over here and help out a bit too. Uh, in fact, no, bring over, come over this way. Much, much better for us. Okay, are you willing to use that spell on me for me, yeah? Okay, let's just do it here instead. Alright, who's sh shooting at you? Okay, come over here and finish off their character, at least for me. Or Kips the Teeth. Come over here and deal with them. Alright, come over here and deal with these. Whippodactyl Riders, get out of there. Alright. More troops went in away. That's fine. We'll do another one of these. Alright. Okay, one unit's already retreating. The other ones are fine. Okay, Chaos Warriors with Halberds. You guys come over here and deal with these now, please. Okay, Whippodactyls, come over here and defeat the survivors. Source Warriors, come over here and do the same. Skirmishers. Okay, that's fine. Kipsity, come down and finish off that commander for me. Or at least continue doing damage to him. Right. Let's bring you over here. Let's bring that into action. You guys come in and deal with them. Okay, you guys come over here and deal with these. Okay, another spell. 
Right. You guys go after them. You guys come after and finish these off too. Nice big unit of Chaos Warriors. Don't particularly want them lying about, you know? Alright. See if you can just defeat him in battle for me, please. Yeah, apparently that was a close victory. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I mean, to be fair, we did lose, what, 600 men in total? I suppose when you add it up, that is nearly half an army. Yeah, you guys might have held on there. I don't know if you have died. I don't know if I used, lost any full units. I don't think I have. Maybe this one, perhaps? And, of course, tic-tac-toe, but we're going to just have to... Uh, get another commander in place for the moment. So at least we've got a couple of them to pick from. But I can't believe we actually... I mean, he took a lot of damage in that fight just from the charge from the Lance, the Chaos Knights. That was shocking. And then to watch him then get nearly killed... Well, try and get out of there. I mean, that's the problem with the flying units. Unless they're tough enough to be able to take on big un you know, units by themselves, they will just get stuck and get mobbed. And it bothers me that you can't just get them to, like, kind of fly up out of here. They have to, like, okay, we're going to move, we're going to move, we're going to move, we're going to move. It's not that like they need a run and take off after all. Anyway, most important thing is, we managed to win the battle. We lost a couple of, you, you know, a few men, but we're going to be able to replenish them and we'll be able to go after the survivors next turn and kill them off. Should be fairly easy then, and then that's the Chaos Threat eliminated for this ritual. Of course, they're going to come back, and they're going to be bigger and tougher, so we're going to have to be prepared for that eventuality. But at least in the meantime, in between the rituals, we can now focus our attentions then on Tor Lazo, defeat them so we can take the islands completely, and then, really, we just need to make sure our troops are in position to deal with these different invasions. And, of course, with the intervention forces that, luckily for us, we never had to deal with in this particular fight. But future ones, we're going to have to deal with those intervention forces, which can be quite tough. They tend to have, like, I've seen the ones for Lizardmen in the past, and Jesus Christ, there's a lot of dinosaurs in that army. But for the moment, we managed to win. Just wondering how we lost all the men, because I don't know what that does. I don't know, does that make 600 and something? Doesn't look like it to me. Oh well. Okay. Oh wow. I oh, know this is a mercenary. Look. I was looking at something and thinking, Jesus Christ, you managed to get to gold chevrons quite quickly. And it's like, no, they're not. They're not mercenaries. But some of them have. Like my salamanders here are nearly a full. Uh, you know, high experience. All the others aren't so bad either. I just hope this one army is going to stick around. I mean, they killed 111 enemies. 111. Oh, no. He didn't manage to hang on. Oh. Never mind. We'll do that. We'll chase down the survivors now and we'll kill them off this turn. At least we managed to get a bit of replenishment. Alright. Enemy leadership. Let's actually give that for the enemy leadership. Certainly. I suppose we're going to always tax in intelligence. Disciplines. Immune to psychology. Sabas. Uh, no, i tell you what. Let's just go for one of these guys. He's only temporary after all. Yeah, Pompous. You would do the job. Alright. Mission issued. We need to... Sack a Lizardman settlement. Uh, and that's a problem because we don't have any Lizardmen on the map anymore on our side of the, the map. We have to go all over to Illustria in order to do that. And that's a bit too much hassle. Alright, let's come over here. Defeat the army. There we go. We'll take some more money from you. Picked up a squall shield in. Okay. You can head back now to El Calabad. And we're going to see. Is this the one that does untainted plus four? Yeah. Okay, that's going to sort itself out eventually. That's good to see. 
Right, let's go for that for a bit more cash. We've got walls being built at the moment, Mystic Barriers. Okay, anything else we want to spend our money on this turn? Still waiting to get that to population surplus 5. But we can spend the money on that at least. And let's go for that. And what we're we gonna get a Taurus Pinder. I suppose we're gonna just go for one of these maybe. Uh, I suppose let's go for a Geomantic Pylon. There we go. Alright. Ajax Sato. Oh right, this is the guy that's leading the force for the moment. Let's just give you uh, I dunno. Oh no, he's just he's King Chief. Not the thing, right. Let's give you Pearson Shot, do that extra damage when it comes to fighting in combat. Kipsity You just stag it on. Sure. Let's upgrade him with a bigger dinosaur. <laughs> right, who else we got? Kips oh Kipsity, I forgot you get two points, don't you? In that case, we might as well just continue getting... I don't know, we've done his entire camp, you know, ability to fight in battle. The only thing we're waiting on up here is to do the immortality one at level 20. But uh, let's just give you boosting income, I guess. Better than nothing. Lord Croak. Can't give you anything else yet, can we? Telekinesis, maybe? But I'm not too fussed about them. Let's just allow you to replenish the troops some more. And let's go... Stimulate growth, boost income. Colossal deliverance. Interesting. Could do that next turn, in fact. Let's just give you training, I think. Who else? Quickta, um... Oh, this is the bloke that's leading the army now, isn't it? Okay, you can go for that, and let's give you Skirmisher. Alright, so now you wait a few more turns for Tic Tac Toe to come back on the field and then we'll be set. Alright, let's switch you over to Normal Stance. You're going to come and attack the Tower of the Stars. Apparently we can't lay siege to it. Ugh, oh, fine, do an next turn then. Alright. Can we not attack this settlement? Huh. Attack. Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to encircle it for now. Right. Oh yeah, let's sort out these guys too. So Takao Khan can just about make it this turn. Exotal though, let's have you go after them as well. Alright, uh, let's just move you over here to join up with them. A bit of a... let's do this. So a bit of an odd one, since Exotal should be the one that's actually doing the ambushing. But it might work out. If we can make it so, okay, he's thinking, oh Exotal's exposed, he's vulnerable. They may try to attack him, and then they're going to have a nice big surprise in front of them. Right. Ah, oh, I need to go and get some lunch in a minute. But I do want to finish this episode with us completing the ritual. I think that should be a nice way to end it. And we're so close now. We've got like one more turn after this one, I think. And then we'll be done. And that's be it. We'll be focusing on the next one instead. Toilaz or... Okay, we're just going to order resolve in this case. I know it's a Pyrrhic victory, I know I could have done better, I fought it myself, but, oh well, it's one of those things. Picked up the Crown of Command though, that's good. Ambush forward. Okay, War Babies. Recent spawnings have favoured the artisan skinks over the source warrior caste. Indeed, warriors, workers are important to the great plan, but the world is threatened from within also and must be defended. You must be prepared for whatever foul ploy the vile servants of the ancient enemy or the great horned one may unleash next. So do we want to make it cheaper for them, for skinks, or for Saurus warriors? Always Saurus warriors. Alright. 
Okay, now I get that. It's something I think we can try to do. So yeah, we've got one more turn to go before we finish this ritual. So let's just finish that off. Let's bring... Let's let Takao fight the... Lead the fight in this one, I think. Okay, in circle. Alright. Exoto, you can come down here and do this too. Nope, don't, no, 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 we didn't want to do that. Okay, let's give you, you know, discipline to, let's say, this guy here. And again, I'm just going to order resolve the fight because we're by the end of the episode. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Made quite a bit of money out of that. We'll occupy it again. Pick up a Wailing Banner. Province not secured. Okay. It's. I don't know which one do we want to go for. Let's go for the extra growth for now. All right, you guys can all replenish. Okay, Tower of the Stars. Let's go after and take this. What was this? Banner of Swiftness. Let's give that to you. Sense of victory. Occupied. Okay, then let's finish off you guys. There we go. Picked up the Sea of Dread. We now occupy the entire province. And uh, let me see. Public order plus four. We don't need all of these. We'll keep this one for the moment. Yeah, we'll keep that one for the moment, but we'll keep give it in fact. No, hang on. Tower of the Sun. We'll keep we'll get rid of your one because you've got trade resource. So we can do that at least. Right, let's pop onto diplomacy a minute. Toy Lazo. Let us converse in a civilized manner. Right. Apparently you're still fairly strong, despite the fact that pretty much all your army's been eliminated. Okay, well. Can't say we didn't give you the options of trying to get some peace. Okay, anyone else we can try and upgrade? Talakwa, what about you? No, you've already got the highest tier walls, okay. Nahoto, that could be handy. Let's give you some more money. Give you some of that. Let's upgrade this, upgrade that. Oh no, actually, public order is fairly good in the area. Oh, there's another army right here, of course. Right. Of course, we need to go and deal with that. Okay, Xato, you can lead the way this time as we go towards uh, them. And we'll get there next turn. Okay, you'll get a fair bit of replenishment in as well. We should be pretty much back up to find strength next turn. And admittedly, we've got a lot of horsemen to deal with, but I think we'll be okay. Alright. Let's give you... Let's give you some uh, points in each of these. Kokka. Do I want to kill the... No, we not, haven't got anything here for high elves. I'm about two more turns away from getting Grimlock. Oh, that'd be nice. Let's give you that. And let's give you... Blade Shield. Fair enough. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Okay, Lemarsen. You can give you that and that. Hibicus, let's give you Wilder Hearts and Pan's Impenetrable Thing. Which does this give me area of effect? It does. Let me go for two of these then. Takao. Right. Fast protection, wind blast. Wind Blast is surprisingly good, I must say, and so is Soul Quench. Let's give me Soul Blast. There we go. Commandment for the Dread of the Sea. Let's sort out... Let's just go for Growth right now. I mean, this is quite a nice build in a Tier 4, but the others could be doing some upgrading as well. Alright, Settlement Upgrade. We'll do for the Dying Lights. We'll finish this off too. Who else we got? Prajol. What do you get at this for? Level 18. 
So I'll give you that, and let's give you Wound Maker as well, I think. There we go. Alright, well while we're going for the next end turn phase, what's going to be happening in the next episode? Well, we're going to be finishing our rituals so we can focus now on building up our settlements a bit still. And maybe we we'll may have to finish off the threat of Toy Lazor by actually going after their fortress here, the Fortress of Dawn. I don't know how much more territory they've got apart from that. I need to just check the diplomacy, but I think eliminating them completely from the campaign at this point is probably the best thing for us to do. They're not willing to get peace at the moment, which is unfortunate, but one of those things. But otherwise, we'll just start getting ready for the next ritual. Maybe we can start in doing some interventions. But let's check out this video in the meantime. The Great Warding is fed by the geomantic web, which in turn is sustained by the Slan residing in their star chambers. And so the stars were sent closer to the heavens. You must hasten along the road of enlightenment or be overtaken by the warm bloods performing their own petty rituals. It does lose a bit of context when you consider that thanks to Hexato and the Last Defenders, we haven't been able to see the first two uh, ritual videos. But that's just one of those things. For now though, we're going to end today's episode here, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you join me next time for more Warhammer 2. But until then everyone, take care, and goodbye for now.